Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be talking about why I was aiming to get Top Dasher, how I think all the benefits of Top, top Dasher plays into um, being the most uh, effective and getting the most out of um, working in the city of Seattle. I won't get Top Dasher until the second day of the month, um, which is June. What? Okay, so first off, when I first started, I actually signed up for DoorDash and for DoorDash, you actually become, you get the uh, top Dasher status when in your first two weeks of starting DoorDash. And when I say starting DoorDash, that means when you first sign up. It doesn't mean when you first start your first delivery and then, and then that's your first day. It's actually when you first sign up. And then when you get your first delivery and then three days afterwards, they'll deliver you the the bag, the mask, and like some hand sanitizer. But that aside, your two weeks starts on the day that you actually sign up. So I didn't know that, but I found out later on and that actually gave me a chance to see the difference between not having Top Dasher and having Top, and having top Dasher. And from my perspective, I think it makes a difference, um, not only from the benefits that they list out, but also from the benefits of um, that I saw. And sometimes, you know, you, you see patterns here and there and you think that it has a significance and it doesn't, but I think that it has a significance because of um, one of the uh, benefits and how, how much of, of an effect that has. Okay, so let's first take a look at um, the requirements and what the benefits of Top Dasher is. On the website, it says that the benefits of Top Dasher is that you can, you don't have to schedule and you can dash whenever, you can deliver whenever you want. And for me, in the city of Seattle, that's not really a benefit because the zones are always busy. And so you can technically get a, get a schedule in, you can get a shift in anytime you need to. Um, I think that at all hours, almost all hours, it's it's pretty busy. Um, I know that if you schedule a shift and then you uh, get off the shift and you, you can't get back on if it's not busy. So, but from what I've seen in, in the city of Seattle, it's usually always red. I mean, there's hours where, yeah, sure, it's it's not busy like in the mornings, but that's, not, that's basically when you don't want to um, be delivering and that's because morning shifts are usually uh, a pile of garbage but in the in the evening um, from 11 o'clock and on it's normally pretty busy so you can just uh, get on at any time um, even and you won't be penalized for jumping in, in and out of shifts I think that um, I mean you can always risk it sometimes um, that might happen where it might be too saturated but how the how the heat a heat map works is it's a ratio between how much volume that a DoorDash expects and then how much people have scheduled and so if there's it's too saturated then you're not gonna get it but for the most part my experience it's it's usually you, you usually can get a, a good amount of orders and and you can you usually it's usually always red um, so that eliminates the scheduling benefit but I think it's beneficial because sometimes the, the zones um, might not be busy, so you can jump in and out of the zones. You can stop your schedule, you can stop your shift, check the other zones, and then jump back on, which is kind of the same thing, but I think it, it, it gives you a little bit more security in terms of like jumping between zones. So that's one benefit. But looking at the two uh, times, two, two uh, periods that I had Top Dasher and didn't have Top Dasher, I saw I, my numbers were about, uh, I would say that they were about the same. So in the period that I had uh, Top Dasher, I made $113.50 with uh, 136 deliveries. And that's over a period of 55 hours. And that came out to be $23.88 per hour or two point four seven orders per hour versus when I didn't have it so I had made six hundred and fifteen dollars and eleven cents for sixty four orders and in twenty six hours so that comes out to be twenty three dollars and sixty five cents 
uh, or 2.46 delivery. So uh, just about the same. But I want to preface that in the beginning when I was, I had Top Dasher, I made a lot of mistakes and that ate up a lot of my time. Um, for example, um, when I was uh, delivering in Northgate, Northgate had like a ton of remodeling and I couldn't find, for example, um, it was uh, Red Robin. I mean, if you look at Red Robin, you see uh, the signs are here and that's where Google took me to. But in actuality, you have to like go around this, this uh, corner and go up the hill to get to there. And on top of that, Northgate, as I mentioned, was being remodeled. And so they had blockages all over the place. So I couldn't get there. Um, another place that I w went to often was the University of Washington um, Medical Center. And that would lead me to like the parking lot. And that ate up a bunch of time, which I was not supposed to go to. I was supposed to just roll up to the front entrance. Um, another another um, couple of mistakes I made was I didn't know that you can get scooped up and ha have an order outside of your zone. So for example, if a different city wanted to buy something from Seattle, I could, they could, they would offer me the order and it would take me to a different city. That ate up a ton of time because you have to make your way back and you might, you might be bombarded with orders, but I blocked the order. So that just ate up a bunch of time, me coming of time, me coming back. Uh, another huge mistake that I made um, was taking a store delivery. And this is not a shopping store, this is just a store delivery where I went to Safeway, picked up some um, groceries, delivered to a customer that wasn't even home. So that ate up easily an hour and 15 minutes. Even though I got paid for it, it wasn't worth that hour that I just lost for no reason. So from my math, I think that learning through all this experience, you know, it was one day after the other where I just probably lost an hour per day, just making mistakes, not, not being familiar with the restaurants or um, the destination. So to me, I think that if I, if I had the, those um, aspects down, I probably wouldn't have made those, uh, wasted all that time. And I know that because when towards the end of the weeks, when I didn't have Top Dasher, everything was running pretty smoothly. I felt like I was very efficient with my time and I got I knocked those orders out, out really fast. But something else uh, about not having Top Dasher is usually at the beginning of my shift, about 15 to 20 minutes in, I wouldn't have an order at all. Versus when I did have Top Dasher, I'd probably get one right away. I would say probably maybe like at, at minimum, five minutes I had to wait. So to me, it makes a big difference just from my own experience. I think I can just get my count up. I probably, I feel, I really feel like I, I can knock out three orders. I, if I got three orders, I can knock out those three orders in an hour. And that would put my average close to $30 an hour. Um, when I first signed up for DoorDash, it was, they, they posted like 20, close to $27 an hour um, based off their data but it's probably from 2001, if anything. Um, that aside, I think that having Top Dasher makes such a huge difference. And so that means um, I, on the first, I won't be able to start uh, crunching out a bunch of uh, hours. So I'll, I'll, be, I'll be waiting till the second to start my month long uh, crunch of busting out 12 hour days and really testing to see if uh, how much big of a difference does Top Dasher make. From my experience, I think it's gonna make a difference. We'll see actual numbers this coming month. I'm gonna be grinding it out. So stay tuned. And uh, if you like the content on this channel, give a like and subscribe. Other than that, um, I'll see you in the next video.